Throughout the poorest countries in the world, pneumonia is the major cause of death and serious health problems in children under five years of age. And in Nepal it's a particular problem, both because of indoor air pollution um, and because of the uh, general problems that the population has with poor nutrition. 1,500 to 2,000 patients uh, every year. And of these, we have almost 25 to 30 percent of these patients who get admitted uh, are uh, because of pneumonia. The two major causes of pneumonia affecting children throughout the world are Hib and pneumococcus. They need different strategies to prevent them, and that actually means two different vaccines. So the researches and the studies going on at pediatric unit at Patton Hospital in collaboration with the University of Oxford is basically focused on the vaccine preventable diseases. We uh, did some studies looking into the carries of this hip in the nasopharynx of smaller children and the data we generated proved that hip disease is here in our part of the world as well. Some governments um, will be unaware of the burden of disease caused by Hib or pneumococcus causing pneumonia in young children. And uh, for that reason, generating data which shows that there is a burden of disease is helpful to encourage governments to introduce programs to prevent these important diseases. As per your question of whether the number of pneumonia is increasing or decreasing and what effect it has, the vaccination, different vaccinations that have been introduced, namely Hib and other vaccines, but it is a general impression that after the introduction of this new vaccine, the incidence of pneumonia has gone down. So with the support of Gavi, we have started this pneumococcal vaccine impact study. We are looking into the pneumococcal caries among healthy children, whether it has decreased or whether there's any change pre and post vaccination. We're also looking at the health economics. So by preventing disease, how have we changed the health of the population and what impact does that ha have economically both for families and for the healthcare system? And finally, we're looking at the scheduling of vaccines and how they might be best scheduled to have the greatest impact in Nepal. What we thought is maybe a schedule that will protect children beyond nine months up to four or five years is better without compromising the initial Im uh, immunity of these children. Nepal became the first Gavi eligible country to introduce a two plus one schedule as a result of data that were generated at Patan Hospital showing that immunity was better in the second year of life with a two plus one schedule than it was with a three plus zero schedule. And this definitely helped in policy decisions and the government of Nepal has also uh, started the 2 plus 1 schedule for, the vac for pneumococcal vaccination. Measuring impact of vaccines is incredibly important. Our experience regarding the programmatic aspects as well as the impact assessment uh, study data could be very useful to our neighbouring countries as well. Data like this are extremely useful for other countries in the region to help inform their own policy development.